The purpose of blockchain technology is to truly decentralize everything that interacts with it, but if we are not careful enough, some of the most essential infrastructures might actually be monopolized. Today's topic is not one of the most frenzy ones, but the project they are working towards will be vital to the scalability of blockchain products and most Web3 applications. So, stick around, get some popcorn while we throw some light on this project. But before I continue, I would like to give a shout out to a community member whose request was to look into what Sato is doing. Welcome to Coinly YouTube channel, your number one tech and blockchain products education plug. Please show us some love by subscribing to our channel and hit the like button. Also, don't forget to turn on your notification so that you can get notified each time we upload our video. So now, guys, let's get to it. Today we are going to be discussing about Sato. There are so many complex technicalities to what Sato is working on, but we will focus on some of their most important solutions and break it down for you to assimilate this easily. To put it in their exact word. Sato is a layer 1 blockchain that pays nodes in the P2P network instead of miners or stakers, delivering permissionless and scalable network, capable of powering decentralized versions of Twitter, Facebook, and Amazon, without the need for predatory monopolies in the network layer. The Layer 1 blockchain project aims to combat centralization within blockchain infrastructure, including node operators and scalability issues that come with proof-of-work and proof-of-stake blockchains. To put this in a better context, Sato will be solving the Infora problem. But in order to understand this better, let me explain what Infora does. What is Infora? Infora provides the tools and infrastructure that allow developers to easily take their blockchain application from testing to scaled deployment, with simple reliable access to Ethereum and IPFS. However, Infora dominates the Ethereum ecosystem, and monopolies threaten to remake Web3 in the image of Google. You might be asking why are blockchain applications using Infora, here is a quick reason. To operate some of these applications, you need to run your own nodes, and there are a lot of pain points when running your nodes, so many of these blockchain apps pay in for it to help them run and manage these nodes. Of course, everyone wants to skip the trouble and just use Infora so that they can get into marketing their products. I believe that many stakeholders and blockchain developers are aware of this problem, but it is a problem that many of them are not ready or willing to combat. Well, here comes Sato. With an application stack that pays participants, not for mining or staking, but for running user-facing infrastructure. It then begs the question of, what makes Sato any different? 1. Sato is decentralized. Everyone relies on the operator's connection to run with a centralized node operator. Therefore, all dApps depending on the operator are vulnerable if their nodes are compromised by bugs or external attacks. It already happened in 2020 with Infura, a centralized node operator. Infora's system was locked to an older version of Ethereum and ran into a consensus bug that caused exchanges like Binance and Bithum to disable ETH and ERC20 withdrawals. This is a problem that a centralized system can cause. 2. It is more secured. Since dApps built on the Layer 1 blockchain can easily and cheaply host their own nodes, it is naturally decentralized and rid the worries of a mass compromise on a centralized network. The protocol also has a below zero cost of attack. By ensuring the production of blocks to be expensive, attackers must pay out of pocket and are guaranteed to lose a lot of money in an attempt to produce a block. Honest nodes are not affected since they pay the costs with fees collected from their users. There are some other advantages to Sato. 1. It is a powerful blockchain. It supports data-intensive apps like games and social media. 2. Open infrastructure. It pays for infrastructure that connects blockchains to users. 3. Supports Polkadot ecosystem. It provides full support for Polkadot and other leading Web 3.0 blockchains. 4. Web DApp Platform. It provides an easy-to-use DApp platform, so developers can immediately get started. 5. Browser Support. Sato apps run directly in the browser, without closed plugins or private API providers. 6. Anti-monopolistic. There is no shortage of connection points because anyone can start a node and access points make money, servicing users. 7. Open source. It is a decentralized open source software stack powered by a stylish economic design. 8. Reward its nodes for running the equipment to keep other networks free and decentralized. With all these benefits, I still have some questions about Sato. 
While going through their documents, we discovered that Sato has a patent on some of their technology. While we understand that this is a great innovation that can benefit the whole industry and they are only trying to secure their stand in it. However, it helps ask the ideology behind their solution to the Infora problem. The blockchain system has always been open source, and for the technology to remain that way, new innovations must be created with the same intentions. Although, Sato claims to grant access to anyone who requests to use their technology. Let's look into Sato token. The use case for Sato tokens is similar to how Ether works on Ethereum. The main point is for accounts to spend them in exchange within the network for data services. There are two types of Sato available. Layer 1 Sato, which is the on-chain token used with the Sato network. The ERC-20 version wrapped Sato token allows for permissionless integration in off-chain applications. ERC-20 can be converted to Layer 1 Sato, but not the other way around. Sato has a total supply of 3 billion. With a market cap of about 107.2 million US dollars. And a circulating supply of about 1.3 billion currently at the price of 0.078 US dollars. Let's wrap it up. Sato is a Web3 Foundation grant recipient that allows blockchain applications to run directly on the browser. Instead of going through a centralized node operator paying miners and stackers to create a new blockchain, decentralized applications, dApps, can host their nodes and pay the internet service providers for their network. This protocol saves dApps money and eliminates the free rider problem and plugins. In addition, this makes Sato a proof for transaction blockchain. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel. We need your support to grow this community. Also, don't forget to turn on your notification so that you can get notified each time we post our video. Kindly share your idea about the Sato project in the comments section and you can let us know what project you would like us to look into. See you next time.